Does that look better on my side? I think that's a good side. You have no idea. That would be a good opening this week. Let's do it again. You have no idea how many students come up to me and ask questions, make declarations about what they see as, as a dearth of entertaining movies. Uh, excuse me, of interesting movies. That is, they might be bored by the entertainment value of Hollywood films that they read as repeating form and formula of movies that repeat stylistic devices, special effects sort of things in which we see through Avatar to John Carter. Okay, nobody saw that, but uh, huh. through John Carter, uh, we're gonna see that in World of Warcraft, whatever the name of that movie is that must be on the horizon somewhere. There's another, uh, uh, right, any, regardless that students regularly ask about that as if they are trying to wonder why don't studios break from the mold in some sort of way, right? That that could be the question. Why don't they break from the mold that we see as tired and worn out? And we are going to spend the next couple of class, five or six class periods through the end of the semester asking and responding to that question in one form or another. We've done so a little bit by looking outside of Hollywood with Italian cinema and finding that Italian cinema, they're not breaking out of Hollywood, right? Radic however, they radically changed the type of films that they made before World War II. I didn't talk about that an awful lot, but they took a dramatically different direction that was much more in line with the cultural, political climate of, and social climate of the moment. Similarly, as we will see with talking about the 1960s, back on those notes, the, uh, what we're calling New Hollywood Cinema, we'll see that Hollywood it does indeed, at some point, wake up from a slumber created by repetition of form and pattern and style that they've been churning out movies within for the past several decades. And today, we're gonna to talk about French folks who we are generally gonna call, uh, recognize under the heading of French New Wave, a newness, a freshness, a rewriting of a trajectory of French cinema at the, at the time. We are talking about the time period, roughly, of the 1960s. The movies that we watch today, two of the first two are gonna be from 1959, a French, uh, they are both going to go to Cannes Film Festival and win the most prestigious awards at Cannes Film Festival. The two filmmakers we're going to talk about today, if I scroll down, Jean, uh, Francois Truffaut and Jean-Luc Godard, will continue to be some of the most influential, indeed, uh, filmmakers in the world. If you took that survey of, you know, give me 10 of the most important international filmmakers, I said Kurosawa would be very near the top. Francois Truffaut and Jean-Luc Godard, two guys we're going to talk about today, likewise, would definitely be on that list. Unlike Kurosawa and Ozu, and I remember I owe you a clip from Ozu because our failure, technology failure the other day. Unlike those guys, however, our guys.